Zine Fest is a celebration of zine culture, zine creators, zine stirs, and zine makers, and to put them in one place and to spread the word, spread the love. Uh, try to get other people to make zines themselves, try to get people inspired to write down their ideas, express themselves, and go outside the mainstream to tell how it is. I guess you could say even the Bible was a zine at some point. My name is Mario Torres. I teach art. I teach art and comics, illustration, graphic design. We work with nonprofit organizations that work with at risk youth and uh, schools around San Diego um, to just bring more art to schools. Yeah, but a bottle. Can I pass both of you? Yeah. Okay, no, I can grab it. Um, I'll have to talk to Mr. Okay. Um, I don't know if it matters, but there's a. It's really loud. My art project is called The True Ego Death, This Cleaves. A zine is a handmade, self made magazine or comic or a pamphlet or some kind of uh, printed word that you can you make yourself, DIY. I first started zine making when I was in university, uh, just wanting to tell some stories in comic form, mini comics. Um, the comics were mostly inspired by my mushroom trips. Um, the, whatever uh, ideas I came up with, I would keep a sketchbook with me with my island trip. Um, I had made some really bizarre mushroom fueled comics called Subhuman. And I just put them together, stapled them, and started distributing them for free around campus. Uh, I got some interesting reception. People kind of uh, uh, told me I should have been covering local news and bands and stuff, but I didn't really, wasn't really connected like that. I just wanted to tell my own gross stories and kind of go out to let, uh, express myself in, in whatever vomit I had in myself. Um, and from there, it just kind of blew up where I started making friends, collecting and uh, trading the scenes with other people, other scene makers that I had found out about after I started distributing these things and trying to get the word out there, going to Comic Con and uh, letting them fly out of my hands that way. And from there, I couldn't stop. I just wanted to, I got really interested in bookmaking, book designing, book layout, uh, art, comics, storytelling, all that stuff to just make it into a lifelong uh, fashion project. Zines are about social issues and trying to take action against, um, you know, the injustices of, of society, American society. And all their zines are free. All their zines are free to take, and they're all about um, just empowering people's minds, empowering people's hands to like, take action and do things. I think it's really important to um, to have that around because I think uh, the people in the forefront of zine culture it seems are like the people who are dissatisfied with the way things are, who are usually very intelligent. Um, and they try to bring new ideas forward and try to talk about things that maybe the mainstream will not talk about or that are inaccessible to the mainstream. So it's a great way for people who are um, unhappy with the way things are going and, or are just unhappy with uh, how expensive things are. Uh, zines are the way to go for just dissatisfied youth, angry people, and just people who have, are seeking new ideas. What I notice people, how people connect to it is how much it inspires them to do the same thing, to um, tell their stories and to be able to do um, zines and art the way they want to. 
be the same way I connected with uh, other people's zines or other people's artwork is that I saw something in it that made me think that I can do the same thing, that I can express myself the same way or however I want to express myself. Maybe that's the connection I, I am trying to make is trying to be, get people inspired to do their own thing, to break out of the mold and think outside, to get an outside way. <laughs>